everybody, Chris here from Project Option, and in this video, we're going to talk about long and short gamma. So the difference between being long gamma and short gamma. So if you watch the video on gamma, you know that gamma represents the change in an options delta relative to movements in the stock price. But today we're going to get a little more specific and talk about the difference between positive and negative gamma. So what does it mean when a position has long or positive gamma? Well, first of all, you need to know that all long options, so all long option positions, have positive or long gamma. Now, this is an indication that as the stock price rises, the position's delta will increase, and as the stock price falls, the position's delta will decrease. Now, all short option positions have short or negative gamma. Now, this means that the position delta decreases as the stock price rises, and increases as the stock price falls. So that's just the basic explanation of long and short gamma, but to really understand what long and short gamma represent, let's go ahead and look at some real examples. So let's start with long gamma. So as I said before, long options have long gamma positions. So first and foremost, let's look at a long call position. So let's say a long call has a position delta of plus 75, and the position gamma is plus three. That means that if the stock price rises by one dollar, the new position delta of that long call is expected to be plus 78. Now if the stock price decreases by one dollar, the long call's position delta is expected to decrease by three to plus 72. So as we can see, as the stock price rises, the delta gets more positive, and as the stock price decreases, the position's delta decreases. Now let's look at the long put. So let's say the initial position delta is negative 50 and the position gamma of that long put is positive 5. So that means if the stock price rises by $1, the position delta is expected to increase by 5. Now since the initial position delta is negative, adding to a negative number brings that number closer to 0. So we can see that if the stock price rises by $1, the initial put delta of negative 50 will drop to negative 45. Now if the stock price falls by one dollar, we're going to subtract that positive gamma of 5 from the initial position delta of negative 50, and we find that the long put's new delta will be negative 55. So when the stock price increases, the long put's delta gets more positive, and when the stock price decreases, the long put's delta gets more negative. Now why does this matter? Well, if you're trading long options, positive gamma basically tells you that you want the stock price to increase towards your strike price or you want it to move through the strike price because your position delta will get larger and therefore continuations of those moves will lead to greater and greater profits for you. So for example, let's look at the long call. So for the first dollar increase in the stock price, that long call is expected to yield a profit of plus $75. Now after that $1 share increase, the new delta will be plus 78, which means if the stock price increases another dollar, your profit of that next dollar move is expected to be $78. So positive gamma tells us that if you own a call option and the stock price continues to increase, your, your profits are going to increase as the stock price continues its upward move because your position delta will increase as well. Now in regards to the put, if the stock price falls by $1, you're expected to profit by $50 since the position delta is negative 50. However, after that $1 decrease, the new position delta of the put is expected to be negative 55. Now that means if the stock price decreases by another dollar, your, your profit from that dollar move is expected to be $55. So as you can see, if you're long a put and the stock price continues to decrease, your profit for each subsequent dollar move is going to be larger than the previous dollar move. So in a nutshell, having a positive gamma means that you want the stock price to move through your long strike price because that delta is going to grow more and more in your favor and as a result, subsequent continuations of that increase or decrease in the stock price will lead to larger and larger profits for your long option positions. So let's go ahead and take a look at examples for long gamma and short gamma positions. So let's start with a long call option. So a long call option has positive delta and positive gamma. So as we can see here, 
the position delta of this long call option starts around plus 25. And as the stock price increases, we can see that the position delta of the call option increases towards around plus 75 at the highest point. So as we can see here, when the stock price increases, the long call options delta also increases. And when the stock price decreases, the long call delta decreases because as the stock price decreases, you subtract the long gamma from the positive delta. So in the beginning of this graph, when the long call has a delta of plus 25, a $1 increase in the stock price is expected to yield a profit of $25 for any trader who owns the call option. However, later on when the stock price is higher and the call options delta has risen to plus 75, the $1 increase in the stock price is expected to yield a profit of $75 for the long call trader. So this just goes to show that when you're long a call option, you want the stock price to increase as far as possible through your strike price because you want that position delta to increase, which will allow you to profit more and more from subsequent stock price increases. Now let's go ahead and look at a long put example. So a long put has negative delta always. So in this case, the position delta of the long put starts around negative 37 and a half. Now, a long put also has positive gamma, which means as the stock price decreases, we're going to subtract gamma from the delta. So since we're subtracting a number from a negative number, that position delta is going to get more negative as the stock price decreases. Now, on the other hand, when the stock price increases, we add gamma to the options delta. And since a put options delta is negative, adding a positive number to that value will bring that delta closer to zero. So as we can see here, the put options delta starts around negative 37 and a half, and at the lowest point gets to around negative 80 as the stock price decreases. So very simple here, all we're looking at is the stock price decreasing, and as a result, the put options delta also decreases, and that's because a put option has a long put option has positive gamma. So basically what we're looking at here is the first one dollar decrease in the stock price is expected to yield a profit of around $37 for this long put trader. However, when the stock price falls and the position delta of the long put grows to negative 80, we, we can see that a subsequent $1 decrease in the stock price will lead to a profit of around $80 for the long put trader. So the bottom line is that when you own a put option, you have negative delta and positive gamma, which means you want the stock price to decrease because your position delta will grow more and more negative, which means that subsequent decreases in the stock price will lead to greater and greater profits for you as a long put holder. So now that we've covered long gamma examples, let's go ahead and talk about short gamma. So let's look at a short call option position. So let's say this short call position delta starts at negative 25 and the position gamma is negative 3. So if the stock price increases by $1, the new position delta is expected to be negative 28. And if the stock price decreases by $1, the new position delta of the short call is expected to be negative 22. Now let's look at the short put. The initial position delta is plus 30, and the position gamma is negative 4. So if the stock price increases by $1, the new position delta of the short put is expected to be plus 26. So that's plus 30 minus 4 gives us plus 26. If the stock price decreases by $1, the short puts position delta is expected to increase to plus 34. So what this tells us is that if you have a short call position and the stock price increases, your delta is going to get more and more negative. And if you have a short put position, as the stock price decreases, your, your position delta is going to get more and more positive. So Negative gamma basically means that you do not want the stock price to increase through or towards your short strikes because you're going to pick up more and more deltas that are unfavorable to you if that move continues. So for example, if you're short this call with a delta of negative 25, if the stock price increases by $1, you're expected to lose $25. However, your new delta will be negative 28. So if the stock price increases by one more dollar, you're expected to lose $28. So as you can see, the further and further the stock price increases towards your short call, 
the more and more negative your deltas will get, which means if the stock price continues to increase, you're going to lose more and more money per $1 increase. Now the opposite is true on the short put side. So let's say you start with a positive delta of plus 30. If the stock price decreases by $1, you're expected to lose $30. But now your position delta is plus 34. So if the stock price decreases by one more dollar, you're expected to lose 34 more dollars. So a short puts negative gamma tells you that if the stock price continues to decrease, your losses for each subsequent dollar decrease in the stock price will be larger and larger than the last because your position delta is getting more bullish and if the stock price continues to decrease, you're going to lose more and more money. So putting these two things together, if you're short a call, you do not want the stock price to increase towards your strike price because your delta is going to get more and more negative, leading to larger and larger losses if the stock price continues to increase. And if you're short a put, you do not want the stock price to decrease towards your short put strike because your position delta is going to get more and more positive, which means you're going to lose more and more money as that stock price continues to decrease. So negative gamma is a risk to all short option traders. So let's go ahead and visualize short gamma as it relates to short calls and short put options. So in this example, we're looking at a short call option with a starting position delta of negative 25. Now that means for each $1 increase in the stock price, the trader who is short this call is expected to lose $25. Now, this option has negative gamma since it's a short position, which means as the stock price increases, the delta should get more and more negative. Now, as we can see, the stock price rises from $97.5 and increases through the short call's strike price. Now, as that happens, the position delta goes from negative 25 to around negative 75. Now, that means when the stock price increases by one more dollar, and the position delta is negative 75, the trader is now expected to lose $75 for that next one point increase. So this example shows you that when you're short a call and the stock price rises, your directional risk is getting more and more negative, and therefore, if the stock price continues to rise, your losses will be larger and larger than those initial $1 increases in the stock price. So now let's go ahead and look at a short put example. So in this case, the short put begins with a position delta around plus 37 and a half. Now, as the stock price falls through the short put's strike price, we can see that the position delta of the short put grows more and more positive. So that means that with that first $1 decrease in the stock price, the person who is short this put is expected to lose around $37. However, when the stock price falls and the short puts position delta grows to positive 75, another $1 decrease in the stock price will result in a loss of $75 for that short put holder. So a short puts negative gamma tells us that if the stock price continues to decrease towards or through our short put strike price, we're going to get more and more bullish based on our position delta. Now, as the position delta grows more and more positive, that means we're going to lose more and more money if the stock price continues to decrease. So to summarize what you've learned in this video, positive gamma or long gamma indicates that a position's delta will increase as the stock price rises and decrease as the stock price falls. Now positive gamma is very common with long option strategies and positive gamma means that you want the stock to basically explode through the long call or long put strike price because a continuation of those moves will be more and more beneficial to you. Now negative gamma or short gamma indicates that the position's delta will decrease as the stock price rises and increase as the stock price falls. Now this means that if you're short options, you do not want the stock price to approach or move through your short strikes because you will start to take on more and more directional risk and if those moves continue, you'll lose more and more money. So with negative gamma or short option strategies, you want the stock price to move away from your short strikes, or if you have a, a neutral strategy such as a short straddle or short iron condor, you want the stock to remain between those strikes. And lastly, option selling strategies have negative gamma, and option buying strategies have positive gamma. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. 
If you enjoyed this or found it informative, please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive all of our videos as we release them.